Well, Tubies, we're back. If you saw my previous video, I started making that template and I made that metal piece for the repair section. So I've gone ahead now and I've cut out the rusted part and I've cleaned it up as best I could. I've got my other part here, which was quite rusty on the back side for some unknown reason. And I've attempted to put some kind of indent in there. If you can see that there. So let's go and have a look at the car and see what stage we're at. This releases from the vice. So that's the rot part cut out there. If you can see that there. And I've tried my best to clean out. It's quite hard to get right at the top there. So all I'm thinking of doing, as it's not really a structural part of this as well, I'm just going to lap it. It's going to lap weld it in. I've overlapped it by about five to about eight mil there. This is going to sit over the edge of it. And then I'm just going to, I might seam weld this on the inside and maybe give it a few runs on the outside. And then I'm just going to seam seal it, I think, because this inside part is what's going to catch the brunt of the, if it's been a concourse restoration, you'd probably do a butt weld whereby you've got the two bits sort of, you butt them right onto an edge like that, but I'm not going to do that. I don't think it's necessary for what it's going to attempt to be in the end, this car. So it's going to go approximately there. You can see where I've tried to make some kind of imprint. I tried my trick with the wood. It wasn't too successful. It looks all right. I mean, it's giving you a bit of an outline there. So I'm going to clamp this approximately in place to get my welding clamps out. I'm going to pinch it all up in place. Let's get this all pinched up in place and we'll come back and see how it looks. So I've clamped my repair panel in, in situ there. You can see it. So all I did, I've got some of these welding clamps. Everyone's pretty much got these, I think. So I've got that, I've tried to keep as much of the original rusty metal as I can because obviously if you start chopping out everything you're going to lose your line. So I'm just going to work in small bits and just, so that will give me my edge line. That Hopefully that will follow the outside panel round. So all I did is I've clamped this tight and all I'm going to do, I'm going to set up the welder in a minute and wherever the clamps have pinched tight you need a good tight you don't want no gaps really where the metal is there's a tiny gap there where the step is but where it's pinched completely flat i'm going to put a couple of spots on it i'm just going to keep working the clamps down that's nice and flat along there so i could probably weld all that line up actually along there and wherever it's sort of bulging up a little bit i'll either just beat it down with a hammer or i could use the clamps just to crimp them back together the two sides so let me get the welder set up. Let's get a few runs in and then I'll come back and we'll have a look at it. So I went ahead, got the welder out and that's my result. Need to, not too fussed at the top. It's hard to get the welder in at the top there. I might have another go actually. I'll see how I get on. I think I just missed that bit. But that's the welding part of the inner did, done, did, 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 dude. So I got quite a good penetration through there. So I gave it a quick um, going round, the bits I could get to with the front. Like I said, I'm not overly fussed because this isn't a structural point of the car. It's more just, just ties in everything in together. And once all the other bits are welded in and across and welded on this edge it'll all i mean that's that's really rigid as well i mean i know there may be a wall to trap these lap welds but i've heard on the internet that they are one of the strongest welds i know you get the seam but at the end of the day i'm going to seam seal that as well on the joint so i'm going to leave that part there for now so i think what i'm going to move on to next is 
try and make this piece next, fabricate this bit round, then that will tie in that will tie in the front part and down here and hopefully we can get onto the headlight itself, the front frame section. Then that'll all be tied in and then obviously I need to sort of work my way round on the underside, but I may just leave that part when I get the front fender on, the front lower repair section on. So that's it, we're looking good there. I'm happy with that. I'm getting some kind of shape back there now. Didn't turn out too bad the bit where I tried to bend in a bit of a round section where the headlight is. So, so we're making slow, steady progress with our front repair section now. I may go on and do an unboxing video next. I've got some parts there, so I might go on and do that next. But we're making slow progress. Like you say, I think you just need to chip at it in small sections and then hopefully rebuild it, get there in the end. So that's it. Thanks for watching. No welding clamps were harmed in the making of this video.